Hi everyone. So today I am going to show you how you can use browser use. So browser use, if you don't know, it is like an AI agent that will run into the browser. So you can give any task. For example, you can give the task to AI. Go to Google, search about something, and provide me the three links, or go into the first link and summarize everything. So it will actually open up. your browser in front of you it will search you can see it will do everything that you say and according to that it will uh, provide you the results now what i am going to show you today here that will be completely free we will be using the api cree for uh, from uh, the ai studio of google and uh, you can just go to ai studio and uh, there you can get your api key for google and uh, you can already choose once we install this you can see that uh, we can choose which model we want like gemini pro gemini flash flash will be more than enough so to get started what is pinocchio it is basically a platform where you can install any of these apps and you do not need to install anything outside of pinocchio so it is one click once you start installing it will install everything that is needed so you do not need to keep on installing everything so just download this and run pinocchio and you will get something like this so here you can see that this will be blank now i have already installed the browser use but if you don't install it it will be blank and you can go to the discover page in the discover page you can see you will get everything that you need all right so there's like comfy ui there's instant ir there's zonos it is for audio generation but we are interested in browser use so you would go to browser browser use and download it once you download it it will keep installing everything that is needed and then you will get this so here you can see it is not running we'll click on this and here you can see it is starting so it has a terminal uh, terminal inside it so everything will be running from here you do not need to do anything outside of pinocchio now here you can see that the browser web ui has opened we'll select the org and in the browser settings in the llm configuration from here what we can do is we can select google and here we have selected flash now we need the api key right so we need the api key and we'll copy it from ai studio and paste it here when you come to ai studio.google.com with the api key get api key you can create an api key from here and it is completely free now here you can see i have pasted it right and we do not need to change anything else from here you can select which one you want gemini flash or anything but i am going to use gemini 2.0 flash right and we do not need the thinking one here but uh, this is the flash there is experimental and other things as well you can choose pro as well one thing is that you can actually choose anthropic open ai deep seek olama anything deep seek would uh, work better if you have that and also uh, use it with olama so if you want to use it locally and if you are installing the browser use locally you can also use olama but uh, i am using this because everything is free and i need to i wanted to demonstrate with everything uh, which we can get free and which is not heavy on the vram of your pc yeah so now in this browser setting you can actually select so uh, whether you want to keep the browser open or not i am not keeping it open so basically it will run a task and it will finish i have selected this like enable recording i have disabled it and this is the brow browser width and the height so it will just open up here now in the run agent basically you can see this is the instruction and here you can put some kind of hand, uh, hints or context that you want so uh, firstly what i would do is that i would say go to google.com and type and i will change it here i will say 12 rules for life this is the name of a book uh, click search and give me the amazon link to 
buy this book click on the amazon link click on the amazon link to buy this book and open the books amazon page let's change it here for this book and open the books amazon page now remember the reason i am using flash is because it is way cheaper and there are like uh, very less strict limits when we are using it for free but if you are using any kind of paid api so you can do whatever you want and this would work like insanely well with uh, open ai's uh, api key or even deep seek's api key So let's see now whether it can open the Amazon page or not. So it understood that we are looking for this and it actually opened it. So this is what I was wanting and sometimes your prompting can be a little bit different and you can just go with it. And so this is the page and it is still scanning. Let's see whether it is doing something else or not. so it has finished you can see here it has finished like the processing will go away when uh, we have like completed the prompt right so the page is open and this is the one i was looking for it was uh, it is with dr jordan b peterson so yeah now we can close it so this actually keep browser open means when the task is complete you can see the processing has gone the uh, window will not close automatically so we can keep it open so if we want to continue for example i assigned this task to ai to find and open the uh, page but then i want to continue the payment by myself i can do that as well so that is the thing now let's try something else so here i can see and here what i'll say is that search best ai videos on google and then go to the videos tab and then open the second video let's see whether flash can do it or not because i had uh, described it more and if flash cannot do it we'll try this again with pro so flash was uh, able to navigate to the videos tab as you can see now we want the second video so the second video should be this one let's see and yes we are in this video to... we're going to take a look at the back now you can understand uh, that how descriptive the prompt needs to be and this is still good like this is amazing because we are getting this api for free we are, we can get the tasks done uh, let's try something more interesting and then open the third app now let's see whether it can navigate to another one and then complete this task so the third one should be the calculator.net let's see Okay this is calculator and here it was able to uh, understand everything We got 2 great We got plus We got 5 So 7 is the answer and we actually completed it So it is going for like the equals to and we got the answer. So it completed it and uh, it you can see it closed. So this is amazing how you can like search for an app online, open the app which you want and then calculate it. So everything and this is being done with free API. If you want more like better API then you can use DeepSeek. DeepSeek actually works very well with this. So this was it for today's video I just wanted to introduce you to browser use 
and let me know what you think of this particular like uh, whole process and what do you think of ai agents because i think this is the future and yeah you can uh, comment in the comment section below and i'll try to reply as soon as possible